The array every and array sum methods are handy JavaScript array methods that can help you test an array against specified criteria. In this video, we'll quickly learn how to use them. Let's take a look at array every. So array.every takes a callback function as an argument. If that function returns true on each item of the array, array.every returns true. So in other words, array.every pretty much equals an and statement. So let's look at how this works. So we can create a test, let's say function tests, and this will be for each element of our array. We will return L is less than 10. So in other words, this function will evaluate to true when the element passed to the function is less than 10, and it will return false if it is greater than or equal to 10. So we can say an array of one, two, three, four, five, six, and if every item in that array passes this test, we will return true. So let's just quickly wrap this in a console log and test to see if that works. I will run this in my console. And sure enough, one through seven are less than 10. So these are all true. Perfect. So let's do another example. Let's, let's make it fail. So let's say every element is less than six. So we know this should fail because six and seven are certainly not less than six. We run this. Good. False. Perfect. So the array.sum method, on the other hand, we should um, kind of think of this as array.sum equals an or statement. So what we're looking for at this point is to see if any element in our array passes this test. So I can now say our test is to return if element is greater than six. So we will change this to sum. And since we have one element here, seven, that is greater than six, we should get a true. I run this. Sure enough, it is true. And now conversely, if I say some element is greater than 10. We know that none of these are greater than 10. So if I run this, it's false. None of them are greater than 10. What's really uh, important to note and nice about this is that the array.sum, if we put two here, for example, and we ran this, well, we know that's true, but importantly, as soon as it sees that there's an element greater than two, which is three in this case, it doesn't even test the rest of the elements in this array. It says, okay, I know this is going to be true. There's no need for me to go on to the rest of the elements. Conversely, in the every case, the same situation is true. So let's say we say, is every element less than four? Once we hit four, we know that not every element is less than four. We know it's false. We can stop testing this and we will stop immediately rather than testing the rest of the elements in the array.